Hi, this is Bill Watkins. We've been looking over the last several weeks at the questions concerning the Holy Spirit and made the point from the Bible that he is a genuine person, that he is a person in the Godhead, that he's on an equality with God, has the power of God, the knowledge of God, the wisdom of God. He was a part of the creation of God when he made what he made for our universe. I want to talk today and next week about what exactly does the Holy Spirit do? Well, I think you know that he did inspire the writers of the Bible with the very words that they spoke. In Mark chapter 13, verse 11, Jesus said, When they arrest you and deliver you up, don't worry beforehand or premeditate what you'll speak. But whatever is given you in that hour, speak that, for it's not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to know what to say. And so Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13, We have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual words. Even Peter said in 2 Peter 1, 20 and 21, No prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation, for prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved or borne along by the Holy Spirit. So I think you know the Holy Spirit inspired the words of our Bible. He inspired them. But you want to know, what does he do for us now? Let me give you several ideas. Number one, he gives us his nature when we're baptized. In, in Matthew 28, 19, Jesus told his apostles, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them, now listen, into, the word is ice, into the name or nature of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When you become a Christian, you take on the divine nature, according to 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. We are partakers of the Holy Spirit, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. We are born of the Spirit, John chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. So when we become Christians, when we are baptized, we are baptized into the name, the nature of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean that we're baptized and those names are repeated at that moment. But when you're baptized into the name of someone, you're baptized into their character, into their nature. You have taken on the divine nature when you're baptized. What does the Holy Spirit do? Well, he gives life. John 6, 63. It's the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. The Holy Spirit convicts men of sin and righteousness and judgment. Listen to John chapter 16, verses 7 and 8. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth is to your advantage that I go away. For if I don't go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I'll send him to you. And he, when he has come, will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. He convicts men. He does this. He's given to those who believe. Listen to John seven thirty nine. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. The fact is, the Holy Spirit is given to those who believe and given to those who not only believe, but also obey. Acts chapter 5, verse 32. We are his witnesses to these things, and so also is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. Believing and obedience are necessary in order for us to be saved. The Holy Spirit lives in us when we believe and obey. Not only that, the Holy Spirit wants you to be saved, and you're going to have to resist him in order to be lost. Listen again. We read it before in Acts 7, 51. You stiff-necked and uncircumcised and hard in ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. And so 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 19 says, Don't quench the Spirit. He's doing everything he can do to see to it that you're saved. Well, our time is up. We'll continue this thought next week. Thanks for watching.